Come on, Sarpath. What is the situation? Shall we go to the hall with you, or shall we wait here? Let's go to the hall together. Excellent. Let us go now, then, and see what awaits us there. Dun dun, dun dun, dun dun. Oh, how fitting. It's very flexible. So these are our visitors. The ones you told me about, Mother. Y yes, Connor. And this is the one who defeated my soldiers. The ones I sent to reclaim my village. Yes. And now it's staring at me. What is it, Mother? I can't see it well enough. This... This is a woman, Connor. Just as I am. You lie. This woman is nothing at all like you. Why, just look at her. Half your age, and pretty too. I'm surprised you don't order her executed in a fit of jealousy. Oh. Connor, I beg you. Don't hurt anyone. Ma mother Wha What's happening? Where am I? Oh, thank the maker. Connor. Connor, can you hear me? Get away from me, fool woman! You are beginning to bore me! Maker's breath. What has happened here? Grey Warden, please don't hurt my son. He is not responsible for what he does. I would look so unamused there. So he is the evil force he spoke of. No! Don't say that! So, the boy has become an abomination and sundered the veil. Connor didn't mean to do this. It was that mage, the one who poisoned Demon. He started all this. He summoned this demon. Connor was just trying to help his father. And made a deal with the demon to do so? Foolish child. It was a fair deal. Father is alive. Just as I wanted. Now it's my turn to sit on the throne and send out armies to conquer the world. Nobody tells me what to do anymore. Nobody tells him what to do. Nobody! Ha 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 ha! Quiet, Uncle! I warned you what would happen if you kept shouting, didn't I? Yes, I did. But let's keep things civil. This woman will have the audience she seeks. Tell us, woman, what have you come here for? I came here to help, if I could. To help me? To help father? To help yourself? Which? <laughs> I want to help myself, of course. To help the people you've terrorized. I was just having fun. Everyone else had fun too. Are you having fun, Uncle? Marmalade! What? You see? <laughs> We're having fun. I think you're just trying to spoil things. What do you think, Mother? I think it's threatening me. I... I don't think. Of course you don't. Ever since you sent the knights away, you do nothing but deprive me of my fun. Frankly, it's getting dull. I crave excitement and action. This woman spoiled my sport by saving that stupid village. And now, she'll repay me. We must not exhaust our supplies. Uh, who should I fight? Yeah. I don't know what's going on. Okay. You. All right. You. You. Right 
was much easier than the uh, demons. Tegan! Oh, Tegan! Are you alright? I am... better now, I think. My mind is my own again. Blessed Andrastin. I would never have forgiven myself had you died. Not after I brought you here. The fool I am. Please. Connor's not responsible for this. There must be some way we can save him. I'm not about to kill a child. Connor is no longer a child. He's an abomination. You! You did this to Connor! I didn't. I didn't summon any demon. I told you. Please, if you'll let me help. Help? You betrayed me! I brought you here to help my son, and in return you poisoned my husband? This is the mage you spoke of? Didn't you say he was in the dungeon? He was. I assumed the creatures had killed him by now. He must have been set free. Here's the thing. She is going to be completely biased because she's not going to want to believe her son was capable of um, summoning an abomination or even accidentally or even understanding the basics of magic where he could accidentally summon one. Well, he also has a slight bias in the fact that he doesn't want to be executed, but he has an earnest voice, which is what I'm relying on. That's right, and I stand by- oh no, it's actually this one. I thought he'd be useful, seeing as he- no, that's, that's right, and I stand by my decision. I know what you must think of me, my lady. I took advantage of your fear. I'm sorry, I never knew it would come to this. Well, I shan't turn away his help, not I like yet. you. And if Connor is truly an abomination- He's not always the demon you saw. Connor is still inside him, and sometimes he breaks through. Please. I just want to protect him. Isn't that what started this? You hired the mage to teach Connor in secret, to protect him. If they discovered Connor had magic, then they'd take him away. I thought if he learned just enough to hide it, then... Where is Connor now? Why did he run? I think he ran upstairs to the family quarters. Violence scares him. I, I know that sounds strange. He may have run up to his room or... He might be waiting in ambush. I don't know. The fighting may have scared Connor into coming out again. And so he ran. So you're saying he may be vulnerable? I... Perhaps. Is there... Is there no other way? Where's Al Eamon? Upstairs in his room. I think the demon has been keeping him alive. So if we destroy the demon, then... Then my husband may perish. Yes. You had no idea the man you hired was an assassin. None. I trusted Loghain. Why wouldn't I? How could I have suspected the mage he sent would be a murderer? And Eamon knew nothing of your plans. Do you not realize what you've done, Isold? Eamon would only demand we do the right thing. I was not going to lose my son. Not to... to magic. And now you may lose him anyways, and so much more. No. No, please. There must be another way. There must be something we can do. Joan, what can you add to this discussion? The demon in Connor needs to be destroyed. Killing Connor is the easiest way to do that, certainly. But there is another way. A mage could confront the demon in the Fade without hurting Connor himself. What do you mean? Is the demon not within Connor? Not physically. The demon approached Connor in the Fade while he dreamt and controls him from there. We can use the connection between them to find the demon. 
you can enter the Fade, then? And kill the demon without hurting my boy? No, but I can enable another mage to do so. It normally requires lyrium and, and several mages, but I have blood magic. What difference does that make? Lyrium provides the power for the ritual, but I can take that power from someone's life energy. This ritual requires a lot of it, however. All of it, in fact. So, someone must die? Someone must be sacrificed? Yes, and then we send another mage into the Fade. I can't enter because I'm doing the ritual. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. It's not much of an option. Is there no other method? The power has to come from somewhere, and that means either lyrium or blood. Then let it be my blood. I will be the sacrifice. What? Isolde, are you mad? Eamon would never allow this. Either someone kills my son to destroy that thing inside him, or I give my life so my son can live. To me, the answer is clear. Blood magic. How can more evil be of any help here? Two wrongs don't make a right. It does seem like a sensible choice, with a willing participant. Connor is blameless in this. He should not have to pay the price. It... Uh, it's up to you, my friend. You know more about such things than I do, and it's your companion going into the Fade. The decision is yours. There must be another way to enter the Fade. You can find Lyrium and more mages at the Circle of Magi, if they would even do it. The Circle Tower is not far from here. That is an excellent point. One of the treaties is also for the Circle of Magi, after all. The tower is about a day's journey across the lake. You could attempt to get the mages' help. But what will happen here? Connor will not remain passive forever. I will take that chance. Very well. I will keep Jowan here as a precaution. He says he wants to help, so he will keep an eye on Connor with us. Go to the tower quickly, then. The longer you are away, the greater the chances of disaster. Oh. And that is why I like doing this one first. So do that one, then the mages, and then the other two because they're not as connected to each other. And Denrim kind of in the middle of it all. Because Denrim. Um, okay, which rooms have I explored? Which ones haven't I? Okay. Let's go in here. What? What? What the heck was that? I do not remember that being a thing. That was. Oh, just a little more. What? How many of them are there? There was only four. You keep saying that, uh, Liliana, that you try to be merciful. Do you? Do you actually? Okay, let's... What the... Ugh. Okay, let's do this again. I guess because I skipped this area, kind of. Due to going outside. Oh, 
What's Chamberlain mean again? I don't remember. I see. Now to loot. As you say. Yes, as I say. It shall be done. Um. <laughs> that makes sense. As you say. Okay. Let's not go upstairs because that is where um important things happen. Very well. Yay, Elysian Empire. At least that's a woman. Are there any other rooms I missed? Um, maybe this room, kind of, but I don't think there's anything in here. No. Oh, hey, Morgan. Good for you. Magic. Dexterity. Okay. Um, that? And that'd be nice to have around, but oh, is that rock armor? Kay. Maybe rock armor so she'll have some protection, but she's actually not. I'm not having too much problem with her dying because at least she has the drain life thing. Um. I like that one. And I got some more items, I believe. Or not. Um. Yeah, no. Not really. Oh. Okay. Oh, wait. That's... Unless that's just... Yeah, that's just regular. That's nothing. So we can just sell that right away. No point putting it on. I guess we can go back to, uh. We can leave for now. Battle of River Dane, Logan. God damn it. One of these days. One of these days I'll be able to read all that. Um. So, oh yeah, I got with those. Let's go back to. Camp for a little bit. Sell everything. Maybe level up. Or not level up. Get some more stuff before heading off to the circle of magi and doing that one. I don't oh. understand. You look like a woman. I am a woman. You are a grey warden, so it follows that you can't be a woman. That doesn't make any sense, Stan. So you understand my confusion then? Well, I'm confused now anyway. Women are priests, artisans, shopkeepers, or farmers. They don't fight. That's not a universal truth. Some women fight. Why would women ever wish to be men? That makes no sense. They don't wish to be men. They wish to be women who fight. Do they also wish to live on the moon? That's as attainable. I am a woman, and I'm fighting. One of those things can't be true. A person is born, Gunari or human or elven or dwarf. He doesn't choose that. The size of his hands, whether he is clever or foolish, the land he comes from, the color of his hair, these are beyond his control. We do not choose, we simply are. But a person can choose what to do. Can they? We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> You're a weird one, Mr. Sten. 
don't think I have any. Oh, wait. These might be more useful to you. Kind of forgot that I need to keep uh, you armored as well. One of these days you'll get a. Uh, What am I thinking? You'll get a... Uh, <laughs> Alistair's. Alistair's uh, knockoffs. No, I think what he has on is better. Um... Let's keep that on him. And go sell everything else. You and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. It's good to have you along on the road. Let's see your worse. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected. And with your discounts. Yay, discounts. Uh, we'll keep that around for now. Sell you. Sell you. Sell you. Sell you. Um... So you, you, oops, whatever. This is actually me, yeah, they are. Sell that, sell that, sell that, that, and that. And you. Um. You never need you. Never need you. I need to keep you around, and you, and you. You can be sold. I know how to give that to. <laughs> That is all I can sell. Okay. And who knows? There you go. Anyways, I think that's all I shall do to day. I don't know, I guess because he already has 100%, so that might be why that didn't do anything. Oh, well, I don't think anybody else would want a lamb bone. So, yeah. I'll uh, see you in the next episode, everyone. Bye!